this has come in record time this month. Last month was a little bit delayed and this month's box has arrived really early in the month. I don't know, it's just because the last month was delayed and this month's early, but it just seems so close together and it's got me really, really excited. I'm like, when it came, I was like, another one already? <laughs> Let's get on with the unboxing. What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people. Welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heathen, here with June's unboxing for Super Loot. Now, I don't pay for these boxes. They send them to me for review purposes and I get so excited every time. Super Loot, Super Loot. These boxes, for your first box, coming at £19.99 and then you get them for £24.99 a month ongoing. Oh, they've really, really upped the game recently. I've said this in the last couple of videos now, I'm going to stop saying it soon, but they have set, set, decided to get rid of all the filler. They said they're going to stop doing things like coasters and key, ring, key, chain, key rings. Or, they had a list of things they said that they think people are getting bored of and fed up of. Uh, things like mugs. They said what they're going to do is they're going to concentrate on putting more quality and official t-shirts in here and then a decent item in there and they said when they do add extra things to bump it up it's going to be things like comics and American candy, Japanese candy, little snacks and extra little things that are bonus items to the box and it's made me so happy. <laughs> Last month's box I absolutely loved but enough waffle let's get the dragon sword crack this open and see what we got in this month's box. Super Loop, smashing boredom in the face. <laughs> and then, it's what's inside that counts. You ready for a sneak peek? Oh, it's got tape on the top of it as well. <laughs> One little bit of tape on the top. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you can't see anything. It's hidden. They've done this last month as well. So I really like this. They're hiding it. And it's part of the packaging as well. So it's just a piece of cardboard on top of it there. So you don't know what's in there. I'm going to not really look too well. Remove the cardboard out of the way. First time is a comic. Oh, nice. I say nice because it's one of the comics I love. Uh, 2000 AD. Uh, Green Death on the Red Planet. Oh, I'm looking forward to reading this. Did they know I'm a 2008 comic fan? Let's look at some of the artwork here, shall we? Awesome. I'm always happy to get a comic in a bit in one of these. Oh, I've just seen the item. It's a Funko Pop. It's one of the items this time. And it is from Pickle Rick. Teacher Rick. Oh yes. Now I know I've already got Teacher Rick. Uh, he's behind one of those Ricks there, but I do have Teacher Rick. It's a shame I've already got this, but this would have been an awesome item for me because I'm a huge fan of Rick and Morty, and I'm collecting all of the Ricks that have my own Citadel Ricks. Not too sure what to do with this one. I might add him to my Funko swap pile. I've got a big swap pile, so I'm swapping Funkos with people from around the world. A really, really nice item though. I'm not going to take it out of the box because uh, this will go my swap pile, but that is a really nice item. Next item. Oh, Big Hero 6, the series. I have not seen these before. So it's like a little mystery mini for Big Hero 6. Oh, Baymax. I'd like to get Baymax or Baymax in armor. My friend's pretty cool. I'm going to open this up and what is who, what company makes these though? Bandai. This is from Bandai. Uh, how do I open this? It's got some tape on it. Dragon sword. Let's see. Comes in a mystery bag. 
Oh, it's a big character. I don't think it's going to be Baymax. Might be Fred. They all made fun out, right? little tear things but don't tear. See a little tear thing there? Let's try this side. <laughs> Just straight. Oh, there we go. I got it. It is Fred. Oh, I really like that. That's pretty cool. Check this little guy out. So that's Fred in his costume. Fantastic movie. I like that character. Oh, he stands. Yeah, I really like him. I think he's gonna he's gonna stay on my side of my computer for a little while. Uh, there's another mystery mini, and this is a Skybound minis. I've opened one of these recently in a different subbox company. I think they're like comic characters. So you have got like Walking Dead, Invincible, Walking Dead, Outcast, Horizon, Manifest Destiny. I haven't heard of Manifest Destiny myself. Birthright. I've heard of Birthright. Uh, so I think. It's from comics. I think it's all comics. Um, Skybound Entertainment. I have never heard of them before, to be honest with you. But they're these, again, Starlin Mystery Minis. I'm not going to open this one because it's not something I'm going to collect myself. Um, these are some of the characters on the side. I'm not too keen on them all being in the same pose with their hands down by their sides. They look very much to me like they're going to be like Titan figures, like a big head and this claw style hands so not really gonna be for me but a nice item and there is some snacks in here there's also a t-shirt at the bottom but the snacks are on top so I'll get the snacks out first uh, top pops chewy taffy candy pops and strawberry lemon nice I like that flavor combination uh, there is some the original cherry head cherry candy never heard of cherry head I thought it would be like a nurse or something rattling. I wonder if they are going to be like nurse or maybe big nurse. I'll find out afterwards. And there is a Hershey's Mr. Good Bar. Chocolate candy with peanuts. I like Hershey's bars. Um, I like when I do the Hershey's combination bars with Hershey's and Reese's Pieces. Oh, that's a fantastic combination that is. But chocolate candy with peanuts. Mm. I can tell you, <laughs> that won't last very long. <laughs> I'll be eating it afterwards. Then, the last item. Move the box out of the way. The t-shirt. Oh, I'm so glad. I've saved the best to last, I think. Because it's a Star Wars Mandalorian t-shirt. Oh, let me get this out of the cell phone. You ready? Oh, I love that. I love it so much. So, so simplistic. Just the outline of the Mandalorian. Oh, with the child next to him, snoring away, and a Star Wars symbol. I absolutely love that. That is a fantastic t shirt. I absolutely love it. Right, that's the end of the box. Let's have, as always, a quick recap, and we'll talk about these items. Star Wars Mandalorian t-shirt, 2000 AD comic, Teacher Rick Funko Pop, Skybound Mystery Mini, Big Hero 6 Bandai Mystery Mini, I got Fred, American Candies. That is a pretty awesome box. So I've got to say, for me, slightly disappointed with the Funko Pop, but I'm also really impressed this is a vaulted Funko Pop, so this, I, I, own, I own it already, but this is no longer in production by Funko, so I've noticed that Superloot are sending out vaulted Funko Pops, which is fantastic. They're getting Pops that are no longer in production, and they're sending that to people. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. It's a shame that I already have this, but like I say, I will keep that as a giveaway, because that will be a really, really nice giveaway item that will be, because we all know vaulted Pops, the price of anything just goes up and up it does because you can only get hold of them. Uh, it on It's on the pop price guide, this Tunker Pop, at £6. Like, like you're going to pick it up for £6. 
Pop in a Box, they had a sale on they did, and they had a vaulted pop sale, and they sold it for £6.49. Uh, they're sold out now, completely gone. You won't be able to get them. <laughs> so, shows you how quick these things go. The Skybound Mystery Minis, well, I haven't opened it up. This is probably the, the lowest priced item in the box, actually. Um, I've, not, I've, never heard, I've not heard of Skybound Minis before, but they're on Toys for a Pound. So if you go to Toys for a Pound, you can pick them up for a pound. Toys for a Pound, it, it normally means that they're going out, that that line's no longer being made. So Toys for a Pound, pick them up at low prices and sell them off for, for a pound so you can get some good prices. Big Hero 6. This Bandai series, I struggled to find this. I was looking for it everywhere. I don't know if there's an, a date on this that, so that lets you know when it was originally released. Uh, I, can't, I can't see one just by looking like this. But the cheapest I found them is on eBay. Uh, it's a couple of eBay sellers and they range from £5.60 up to £7.49. So they're quite expensive. It's about right for one of the mystery minis, it's about the five to eight pound price it is. The comic, it's got a price on it, two pound thirty-five. So I'll go with that price. Uh, comics I normally say are about two to three pound. They are. That's what you pick them up for. So we'll go two pound thirty-five for the comic. The American candy, I didn't look these up. I know American candy is expensive. When you do find it in the UK supermarkets, it's expensive. Something like a Hershey's bar. You pick them up for two to three pound. So I'm going to say that Hershey's Mr. Good Bar is going to be three pound. Cherry Head the original. I don't know how much these would go for because that's got a US price on it, twenty five cents. Now I think something like that here in the UK would probably be at one to two pound, maybe one pound fifty. I don't see it getting any cheaper than that. Um, and then the the top pops lolly. That's difficult to put a price on because a UK lolly of this sort of size and price, you'd think 20p, but it's an American candy, so it has to be imported. So it's probably going to be about 50p. So I'm going to put that price wise at 50p. Um, I mean, you can get them cheaper if you go to, there is places to distribute to the UK, but you have a certain price, a certain amount you have to buy, and then you have to pay shipping as well. It works out so expensive. Or Superloop, they have an American candy mystery box you can check them out the t-shirt that's my favorite item this month i tell you so i'm gonna price that at 15 pound it's an official t-shirt t-shirts are expensive when you go to a shop and you buy an expensive a decent t-shirt an official t-shirt you're going to spend between 12 to 15 pound you're not really gonna pay any less than that i'm gonna class it at 15 pound all in then this value of this month's box would be £41.34. Uh, if you if you were on a monthly subscription to £24.99, you would save £16.35. But, like I say, although I'm disappointed because I have the pop, I think it's a fantastic box. The t-shirt makes it worth it for me alone. The t-shirt, I love. The comic, I'm a huge fan of 2000 AD. I like the artwork in front of this one. It reminds me of Warhammer 40,000. I'm looking forward to reading that. And I love American Candy. So, this box is, is a win for me. Double thumbs up. Shame that I have the pop, but that's just because I collect them anyway. Could have been any pop. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Along with the normal YouTube stuff, comment, like, share, subscribe. Comment down below what do you think of this box? And if you get it, what pops did you get? Did you get the same pop or did they put different pops out? I'm interested to know. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to end it here. I'm the Geeky Heathen. As always, much love. Until next time, stay awesome.